Hello everyone, it's GameShark here and welcome to a game called My Time at Portia. This is an RPG indie game developed by a company called Paffia Games and published by Team17 Digital. Now one of the managers over at Paffia Games sent me an email with the key to play this game and test it out before the release and actually the game gets released tomorrow which is insane on the 23rd of January. I had this key a few weeks ago but I've not had time to record any footage up until today but at least we can get a video out. I just want to thank the guys over at Paffia Games for sending me the key to test this game out I appreciate it it's amazing I've, I've been excited for this game for a while I've been dying to play it and just to give you guys an heads up on what this game is basically you start a new life in a town called Portia and you've got to try and restore your dad's neglected workshop to its former glory we can grow crops we can raise animals and we can befriend people in the town and obviously un try and discover the mysteries of this forgotten land it is like a, a 3d open world Stardew Valley it reminds me of Stardew Valley with the raising the animals and growing crops it looks awesome so let's get straight into it and let's have some fun in my time at Portia okay so let's get into it let's uh, start a new game okay so here we are we can actually create our character which is uh, pretty nice I like the looks of the graphics in this game they're quite nice very pleasant on the eyes I'm gonna go with this here we'll go with a nice dark brown color with a highlight of a light brown and uh, our name, of course, is going to be Sharky. You can change the face type. Uh, I quite like the first one, so we'll keep that. I'm not going to mess around with these too much. You can go into detail with them if you like. But I'm just going to hurry up and get into the game as fast as possible. You can change all of the face details, mess with the eyes and the brows. It's pretty good. I like the customization of the character. Okay, I'm happy with that, so let's just get straight into the game. Now, I've not played this game at all. I jumped in for like one minute or two minutes just to get used to the controls, change some of the settings. I've seen a few videos on it as well, and probably most of you guys have seen a lot of this as well. But here we are. We're on the ship heading towards Portia, the town. It looks amazing. Look at that. The graphics are nice. We're coming up on Portia. Woo are, whoever you are. That looks beautiful, we say. Let's just uh, let's skip this. Let's just get into it. I'm excited. And here we are. This is, is this the mayor? His name's Presley. Is it Presley or Presley? He says, Sharky, good to see you again. I hope you had a pleasant journey. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop. So if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. So this is your dad's workshop, obviously. No one's been working there since your pa left Portia so many years ago. Okay, so here we are. We can uh, move around, W-A-S-A-D. We can uh, run, we can jump. Controls are pretty standard, pretty awesome. I've changed all this, the, the settings already because the sensitivity was a little bit too high, but it's, it's all good now. Come on, follow me. So let's follow Presley. Let's uh, see what he wants us to do. Oh, here we are. This is your pa's workshop. What do you think? Whew. Well, I'm not going to lie, Presley. Uh, it looks a bit run down. It looks a bit awful. It, it needs some work doing to it. And uh, that's what I'm here for, right? I'm going to make this place look even better than it was before. Now, here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you saw the house. Sharky. When you read this letter, I'm already on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry I'm not able to be the father that you want. This was all so sudden. I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. So it's our shelter. I will leave you with my workshop handbook and details how I worked my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy. Well, thanks, Pa, but... What happened to leaving me? You abandoned me. I still will never forgive you for that. So here's the workshop handbook of your pars. Take your time and come to the Portia Commerce Guild tomorrow. It is located around Peach Plaza. You can't miss it. Okay. Well, that's what we've got to do. As much as I'd like to give you a builder's license right away, you'll need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Oh, all right. We've got some tests to do to become uh, welcomed here. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Thanks for your help. Presley. It's getting late, you should get some rest. Ding ding, okay. Day two, month one, year one. Similar to Stardew Valley with the days and the months and the years of course. This house is so worn I need to fix it or I won't get much sleep. Look at the state of it. Oh my god, we, this is where we're sleeping. There's holes in the floor, we can fix it. We need free wood for that. Okay, so we've got to collect resources to to fill these gaps. 20 wood for that one, oh my god. Well this place doesn't look very homey at all. In fact, I'd rather sleep outside. Let's go outside. And here we are, what a beautiful day. It actually looks better out here than it does in there. So you know what, I might even sleep out here. But we've got some mail. Let's check it out. The sensitivity is a little high. It's a bit crazy. Uh, let me change my mouse. Oh, that's a bit better. So it's, that's my bad. Let's check the mail. 
from Portia Times, the local newspaper, I'm guessing. This is Portia Times, we're sponsored by the city's government and local commerce guild branch to give you the latest news in our city. You will get a, a paper every, last day of each month. Oh, we don't care. We don't want your advertisements or your newspapers. Let's just go and uh, meet Presley at the commerce guild. Who's this guy? Co How do you say that? Queer? Queer? <laughs> Hello, queer. Oh my god, he's a, he's a fisherman. One of the Hulu brothers. Hey there, I'm queer. <laughs> The smallest of the Hulu brothers. There are seven of us, so it'll probably take you a while to get used to. Haha. -ha. Well, this guy looks a bit dapper. Oh, we can chat to them. We can gift them. Spa. <laughs> RPS. Oh, rock, paper, scissors. Oh my god, you can play rock, paper, scissors. It takes one minus five stamina, but guys, let's go. Which one should we go with? Let's go with the almighty rock. Boom. Oh, it's a draw. We did the same thing. Okay, well, let's go with papers. Oh, damn, this guy is good. Right, okay, let's go with papers again. I feel like he's gonna go with the same thing. Oh my god, he did. This is not good. Rock. Boom. Yes, get in. 2 1 to us. 2 1 to him, should I say? Oh my god, it's over. Queer. We lost to a guy called Queer. Alright, stop bragging. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Next time. Next time. I will beat you. We've got relationship plus one though. But let's go to the Commerce Guild and meet Presley. Uh, we've got to do some tests, I believe, to, to get the workshop up and running. And look at this, it's absolutely beautiful. What a nice little town. Let's go for a swim in the water. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. We are running on water, guys. We are magic. It's like dynamo all over again. I f oh my god, we're just floating on top of the water. We we're meant to be inside there taking a swim, but I guess that's just a little bug. It looks good. Oh wait, is, is that a bike? Oh, guys, let's get on a bike ride. Oh, no, we can't. We can't ride a bike. Can you imagine if we could ride a bike? Who's this guy? Django. Django. Oh my god, he's got a sword. I better leave him alone. Okay, this is like a restaurant. Very nice. There's a girl here called Sonia. Let's go and say hello to Sonia. Hello. She's a restaurant waitress. You're the new person. I'm Sonia. Hey. I, I wonder if you can um, marry in this game. We can chat. We can gift. Play rock, paper, scissors. I wonder if we can marry them and uh, eventually let them move in with you. That would be awesome. But we can just chat. Uh, this place sells beverages. Well, I'll be down there later, don't you worry. Save me a cold one. But uh, we've got to go to the Commerce Guild now, so I'm guessing this is just this big place here. There it is. Portier Commerce Guild. Let's go and talk to Presley. Presley? Presley or Presley? Presley sounds better. Sharky, nice to see you. How are you settling in? Very well, very well. Great. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is Portia Branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. I'm sure you are. Okay, mission complete. We've got a plus 10 relationship with him. Now then, let me give you a builder's test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and a pickaxe and bring them to me. You'll need to have wood and stone to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the shop. After you have raw materials, okay. So we need to get one axe and one pickaxe. So we need some wood and stone. Uh, we can go to the work table in your yard and craft the needed items. Okay, well let's uh, head home and let's do this. We can use the nice dashboard and oh, hold on, what's going on here? Some kind of discussion. Oh god, we better uh, stay away from this. This looks a bit tense, but look at this guy. Oaks, he's wearing like a bear skin. Damn, I really want that. Hey, give me that. I want it. That looks awesome. I wonder if we can craft something like that later on. What a cool guy. Right, okay, so we're in the crafting. I wonder if we can craft an axe or something from here. We've got skill points, I can see. Uh, the handbook. Oh, this is the handbook that you wanted to look at. So it shows you everything that you can craft, what you need for it, and things like that. Okay. A water tank. Oh. Shows you all of the equipment, axes, and fishing rod. Oh, nice. Let's head home and see what we can do. Whoop. Okay, here we are. Oh, there's the workbench. Okay, so we need a simple axe. Oh, we need five wood and eight stone. How do we get wood and stone then without an axe? We need to chop trees down, right? Can we just go up to one and punch it? Minecraft style, baby. Let's do this. Let's go and kick the crap out of a tree. No. Oh, good kick. No, we're not getting no wood. Oh, we can roll. Oh, yeah, I like that. Um. So how do we get wood? Oh, hold on. Pile of wood. Here we go. We can just gather them. Ah! Three blocks from that. So we can just go around in this stone as well. We can just go around and gather them. And then obviously I'm guessing trees and stuff. What's this? We've got three snake berries and a caterpillar. Can we eat them? <laughs> well, let's eat them. It sounds good to me. Herbs and everything. This, you can just go around and gather all sorts. I'm guessing with the tools you can obviously knock trees down and big rocks and get more resources. But right now we can just go around and gather them on the floor. 
We've got uh, one log and two stone. We're going to need more than that. A hell of a lot more. Explore time. I see some more over here. Let's run. Yes. Seven logs now. Oh, whoa. Look at these. We've got animals. What's that? A colorful llama, level two. Oh, my God. It's like uh, got some kind of special wool on it. I wonder if we can get some of those eventually. I'd love me animals on this game. You can raise animals. I'm excited to do that. But let's get these sticks. We've got a few more. Where's the rocks at? We've got uh, 17 logs. Is that going to be enough to craft something? There's even more over here. Oh, this game looks so beautiful and peaceful. I'm really enjoying it. I wonder how many you can stack up. We've got 22 logs right now. Whoop. Jump over the fence. Um, oh, I see some stone over there. We can uh, get some more stone. We've only got two of them. I guess we need a lot more than that. Okay, let's jump on that. Ah, look at the fields. Awesome. Okay, well, let's uh, let's head back and let's see if we can craft one now. So, we need uh, eight stone. We've only got four. Wow, damn. We've got plenty of wood. What about the pickaxe? We need five stone for that and eight for that. Okay, we need a lot more stone. We've got the wood, but we've got to get foraging. We need to do some more. Oh, where are they going to be? Where's the stones at? Hey, look, we've got a chest. Boom, kick it open. Oh, okay, we've got some boxing gloves. Guessing we can use them to, like, spar with the people or fight. But I've got some more stone here. There we go. One, two. Okay, we've got eight. Eight rocks. We need more than that. I see some more here. I don't know how big the map is. As you can see, the map doesn't look massive yet. There's some areas that's locked. I'm guessing that's just because this is the beta. I'm obviously testing it out. The game's not even released yet. So uh, maybe the map will expand when the game comes out in early access or proper full release. As of now, we've only got a small area to work with, but it's good. We're testing the game out. It makes sense. But let's get these stones, baby. We've got 13. It might be enough. We might need one more, maybe. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, it's got to be enough, right? 15. Is that going to be enough? I'll get these just in case. Okay, 20 stones and uh, 29 wood. That's got to be enough. Let's get back. Hold on. Let's, t let's just say hello to this scarecrow. Look at this guy. Oh, Scarecrow, look at the detail on you. Who makes Scarecrows around town? They do a good job. Definitely not me. Okay, oh, I love the jumping on this game. Okay, well, let's see if we can make them now, surely. One simple axe, craft, just the one, please. Boom, there we go. And then the pickaxe as well. Five stone, eight of wood. Boom, Bob's your uncle. Wow, look at this, guys. We can craft things like tables, chairs, furniture for your house, stools. Oh, this is going to be great. Cloth. We can get swords. Oh, there's a lot to do. But right now, let's go up to Presley and show him the axe and the pickaxe. We can actually move things around using the hotkeys and stuff like that, which is good. We can drag the pickaxe and the axe into one and two slot. Move things that we don't want up into our backpack, it looks like. Get them out of the way. Get organized a little bit. It's pretty good. Okay, well, let's go. Let's uh, complete this uh, little test, the first test. Look at the axe. Awesome. Check it out. Oh, yes. No one's going to be messing now. We're going to slice and dice some people. You know what I mean? Hello, Gail. And uh, me? Me? Oh, God, there's a lot of people around here. This this town's thriving with people. A lot more than there is in Stardew Valley. I like it. It's alive. It feels very welcoming. But here we go. There's uh, Presley. Let's give, give him a talk. See what he wants. Excellent quality. Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you could do. Now... For the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You'll need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Okay. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things that he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can diagram of the furnace. Once you have a diagram, just to use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. Alright, I see. We've got to build a stone furnace now using the assembly station on our yard. So let's go and check that out. So here's the handbook, we've seen it earlier, it tells us everything that we can craft. So for a stone furnace, uh, the temperature gets up there, so handle with caution. We can get stone, we need 10 stone to make one stone stool, and then obviously we need 10 wood. Any tree will give wood. Basic furnace can smelt simple ores, for better ores, uh, I'll need a better furnace, okay. Pickaxe can be used to break down bigger rocks. Okay, so we just need, looks like, some wood and some stone. Okay, well let's head home and uh, try and make this stone furnace somehow. Let's jump over here quickly. Away, there we go. Okay, so there is the assembly station, and there is the stone furnace. So we can build that using the stone and wood, I believe. Have we got them? Well, let's press build. Okay, there it is. Oh, there's like the blueprint. So we need 10 pieces of wood. Can we just click on it? Oh, no, maybe not. So how do we get the wood in there then? Um, let's go into our inventory. Maybe if we just drag these over to the hotkeys. Have them selected and then do it that way. Ah, there we go. Ten wood done for the wooden trowel. Now we need a stone stool. Oh, so 
We can craft a stool, I believe, using this workbench. Let's see. And here we go, stone stool, we need 10 stone, so we've not got enough for that yet. Okay, well it looks like we need to go and find some stone then. Back on the grind. Let's uh, let's use the pickaxe on these stones. I wonder if we can gather some. Um, let's try again. There we go. Oh, one. Hold the left mouse button to cut and dig. Boom. Boom. Get in. We just leveled up as well. Let's check that out. Yes, love the animation. So we've got to level two now, uh, which is pretty good. We've got 11 stone for that as well. We can definitely craft this now. We've got some marble and copper as well. Right. Stone stool, craft, just the one. Thank you. So now I'm guessing we can just place that down and uh, Bob's your uncle. Oh, I love it. Here we go. So how do I get that now then? It's done. It's, it, I built it. We don't want to retrieve it because that's, it says that we'll get um, deconstruct it and get the materials back. Do we need to go back and talk to him or... Oh, we can actually get some, we've got a skill points, so we can uh, go onto the skill tree here and we can use some skill points. We've got battle, we can make our dodge roll in uh, better. Go to the gather, maximum health is increased by 5, maximum stamina is increased by 2. Okay, let's do that. Stamina is important, I believe, in a game, any game. But we've done this builder test, uh, it's saying to make a furnace, we've done it, but it's not ticked. So I don't know what that means. I'm guessing we've probably got to go into town or something and tell him that we've done it to complete it. It's getting late, it's half past six, but let's just get run into town. I don't know how to trigger this test, I don't know what to do. Um, maybe we can talk to someone. It's telling us to go up here, what's this? There's a little circle here. This is, oh, the abandoned ruin. Hey there, first time ruin diving. He is the member of the civil corps, Met Remington. Alrighty, let me explain then. All the ruins in the alliance of free cities are regulated by the civil corps. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a maintenance fee. When you enter, I'll give you a jetpack and a scanner. Oh my god, that sounds great. Very handy ancient relics. This one besides... Okay, there's monsters in here, I believe. Okay, I'm done. Have fun and be safe. All right. Well, we don't want to go in there yet. I'm trying to do this uh, builder's test and I don't know how to complete it. Uh, maybe I'm being stupid and I'm missing something, but... Oh, look, there's a chest up there. Let's, let's go and get that. Let's give this a kick open. Right, okay, we've got two salad sauce. That's like mayonnaise, I'm guessing, or salad cream, or wherever you're from. Um, I don't know what to do, guys. Let's, um, what can we do? Let's run back home. We've got to do something here. We've built it. So what do we do now, then? Can we... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I was so stupid. You're meant to just press retrieve, and then it goes into your inventory. You said something about dismantling it and getting your resources back, so that's why I didn't do that. What an idiot. Okay, well, here it is. It's in our inventory. I'm guessing we can just drag it down here, move it around, and maybe we can just place this down somewhere, right? Oh, there we go. Oh, guys, I'm... I'm I'm learning. Go easy on me. Where can we place this? Okay, don't feel like you can rotate it. I think it like auto rotates in certain positions. So uh, where should we put this? A little furnace. Let's have it right away in that corner. Looks quite good there. And here we go. Make a stone furnace. Done. Built. And we can use this to craft bricks, copper bars, bronze bars, charcoal, glass. Oh, that is awesome. I like it. It's good. So now we can go back and talk to him, right? He's saying that he's. Oh, there's another chest up there. Do you see that? I don't know how we get up there, but we can. But now we can go and talk to Presley. Oh, look at this guy, Pauly. Looks like he's in the army. What a guy. Is a, a manly furniture maker. Nice. Oh, guys, look at that. He's got a shark on his t-shirt. Now, this guy is my friend. I can get on with this guy. He's a tank. Look at him. I don't want to be sparring with him. <laughs> he's probably going to knock 10 bells of living daylights out of me. But let's talk to him. Relationship plus one. Men should be as strong as me. Mars? <laughs> Come on. He's not even close. Okay, I don't know who Mars is, but this guy, I don't want to be messing with him. I want to try and become friends with that guy. How oh, queer. <laughs> right, so it's saying that uh, this guy is in the restaurant. He must be having a drink. Of course, it is like really late at night. So let's go and try and find him, I believe. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's eating his dinner. What you got there, mate? Can I have some? Jeez, he's not messy. Great job, you passed. This is your builder's license. Congratulations. Completed, guys. Yes, we have now got our license. My time at Portia is accomplished. There's nothing else for me to do. I'm, I'm just the man around here. <laughs> we need to take the license to the mayor's office. I thought you was the mayor. Uh, get your workshop registered. Come back and talk with me after you are registered. Okay, so we need to go and get registered now. You just chill out and eat that. You know, uh, you're enjoying it. This place looks nice. It looks fancy. Um, look, oh, shall we go and dine, guys? 
Uh, you know what? I don't know. This this place looks a bit too posh for me. I think it's going to be expensive. I'd rather eat the caterpillars in the bushes that I find. Beer grill style. We don't need no fancy food. We're living out in the wild, surviving. Okay, so now we need to find the mayor. It's telling us that he's up here. Well, it's not going to be in there. It's saying uh, around... Is it? No? Where is it? Around this way somewhere. No, it's not in there. That's the town hall. Let's go around here. Oh, okay. We're going up. Let's go and find this guy. It's 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> he's probably not going to be in. Okay, the house is this. It looks like it's this one, so let's go in. Okay, of course. So, Gale is open at 8 o'clock in the morning till 9 at night. I've just missed him. It's bedtime. Gale, so is he the mayor then? He must be. You can't get anywhere else around here. He's got a big place. We'll have to obviously go home, get some sleep, maybe come back here tomorrow in the morning and then uh, register the workshop. But it's getting late. It's like 11 o'clock at night. We've only got 40 stamina left. Let's, let's head home. Let's head home. Oh, there he is. There's Presley. <laughs> Enjoy your drink, mate. He's, he's wobbling. He's a bit drunk. Let's get back. We need some sleep. It's getting really late, man. Stamina's low. I keep forgetting about that. I keep running. I keep forgetting that we've got stamina. Well, let's head home into this old, cold, bloody cottage. There's holes in the floor and everything. It's creepy in here. I don't like it. But let's get some sleep. Confirm. Ding, ding, ding. Day three. Pretty good. I'm liking this game. Oh, my head hurts. I didn't sleep well at all from the breeze coming through the cracks last night. I, I wouldn't be surprised, mate. I wouldn't be surprised. Sleep outside. You're better off. But you know what, guys? I am going to wrap that one up right there. Really enjoyed this game. It is incredible. If you guys want to see more, uh, hit that like button. Let me know down below when the game gets released tomorrow. I'll purchase it and we'll start a brand new playthrough if you want to see more. Uh, I just want to thank the guys over at Pathia Games for giving me the key and uh, to let me play this game and test it out before the game gets released. I appreciate that. This game is going to be fun. I'm very excited to play it. If you've enjoyed it, guys, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here. I do upload every single day. This game reminds me of Stardew Valley and um, that's why I'm keen to play it. and if you guys want to see it just let me know but for now I'm gonna end that one right there thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one stay safe stay awesome and peace